this thing back here, I'm sorry. Friday favorites this week. I'm talkative. I'm just off on a tangent. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foods for you today. And this was like generally overall a more sort of easy makeup week, but kind of like a hodgepodge sort of a week. Um, I was definitely into pinky cheeks and kind of more cool toned ish sort of eye looks. And I just have like some really fun favorites to share with you. So let's get to it. First off for eyes, I have another PR haul coming soon. So you'll hear more about this collection in that haul. But this is the Laura Geller Iconic New York Collection Downtown Cool Eyeshadows. I have been loving this palette this week. This collection is just fun. Um, it has like a more kind of um, cool toned themed side to it. And then a more kind of like warm toned daytime sort of a themed part of it. So anyway, long story short, this is the palette that I was loving this week. So I do have this on my eyes. I have this one in my crease and I have that one on my lid and just a little bit of these two together. So I've worn this one this week. I've worn this one this week. I've worn this one this week. I've worn that one this week and I've worn this one. I feel like I just got eyeshadow all over my arm. Did I do it? No. Hey, I'm winning it live today. But it's just really pretty cool tone shadows. Like, and I think it's just, you know, kind of something different. There's so many warm tone palettes out, which I love those too, but it's kind of nice to see something a little bit different. Um, really nice texture to them. They blend really nicely. Like these mattes blend so well. They just like blend themselves. And then I really like this one on the lid. It's just really, really pretty. So see, like, I feel like those are just kind of different feeling. See this right here? Can you see it? It's a little bit red there. Mosquito bites. I tell you. In Texas, or really anywhere, I guess, with humidity, let me know. If you have, like, mosquitoes everywhere right now, let me know so I'm not alone. So I've been scratching right there. So if I look red, mosquito bite. Anyway, back to the eyeshadows. They're really pretty cool toned shadows that blend really well, wear well throughout the day, and I like that it's cool tone. Just something a little bit different. Also with that palette, I pulled out an oldie but a goodie. This is MAC's Stormy Pink Pro Long Wear Paint Pot. So I think this one is still around. I hope so. I was actually really impressed when I pulled this out and started to use it. It is still so creamy, and I haven't worn this in a long time. So. I was really impressed just like how the texture really has stayed so nice. Like while I love my um, Maybelline color tattoos, sometimes I have to kind of like mix those around to give them some life back. And I didn't have to do that at all with this. It's like a beautiful kind of um, taupey purpley sort of a color. Really, really gorgeous. And I have another situation there. <laughs> that's not a mosquito bite, that's just a scratch. I don't even know how I did that. Maybe Chester bit me? I don't know. I probably shouldn't blame him on that on him if I'm like, unless I'm 100% sure it was him. Anyway, back to the eyeshadow. <laughs> Just a beautiful, taupey, purpley color. Um, really nice texture to it, blends really nicely. Um, really just gives your shadow something to stick to. Helps them like last longer throughout the day. It's pretty by itself, so. Kind of makes me want to like revisit some other paint pot shades because I'm so, so impressed with this formula. It's just been a while since I've worn a paint pot. And this one is just such a fun, cool tone color. Once again, cool tone. For blush this week, I randomly pulled this one out one day and when I put it on my cheeks, I was like, oh my goodness, I love this. It's such like a happy, fun pink color and it's really beautiful and vibrant, but still girly. This is Makeup Geek's Valentine, and I think it's pretty much a matte. I have a highlight on with it, so you're seeing, well, actually I have an eyeshadow that I'm about to mention to you that I'm using as a highlight, but that glow is that situation. This is, I think, more of a matte. But anyway, it's a gorgeous pink. Um, it blends really well. It's very pigmented. Like, when you see it on a swatch, you're gonna go, whoa, that's like scary bright pink. But I mean, when you get it blended on your cheeks, 
it's so pretty and just a happy color. Like it just, I don't know, livens up your face and gives you that like pretty flush and I don't know, I think it's just really fun. Like a lot of times I think of, I don't know, kind of like easy makeup but with one statement thing. A lot of times I think of either like a smoky eye or a red lip or something like that. But I really kind of forget about like just a fun, bold cheek and this can be that. You can just have that like really flushed look on your face and do like a winged liner and some mascara and like something really light on your lips and you've got still kind of like, I don't know, that focal point ends up being the cheeks. So I think that's kind of something fun and different, but I didn't really do the focal point thing. I did, you know, still barely involved eye looks along with the semi-dramatic pink lips. But anyway, I love it. I think it's so fun. This thing back here, I'm sorry. Friday favorites this week. I'm talkative. I'm just off on a tangent. We're talking about mosquito bites and scratches and my light. That thing. Okay, so I don't even know if it's been on this whole video, but I turn it on and it's like it like it shorts out or something. So I love that light when it's actually on. I'm gonna try to get it to come back on again. I kind of mess with it a little bit, so we'll see if it stays on for any length of time, hopefully, because it's super cute. Okay, now on to the eyeshadow that I was using as a highlight this week. So I got this in my Ipsy bag. That video I also need to put up. This is the M Princess Pressed, and this is in Biscuit. It's a, well, first off, packaging is fun, like slides open, but this is so cute. Like it's really just kind of like a, an icy sort of an eyeshadow color but I wore this on the inner corners of my eyes this week. I'm not wearing it that way today, but I did wear it that way. And then also on my cheeks, I just really like it as a highlight, like especially with that pink, it just is really fun. Like a very kind of princessy looking cheek with that like pink and then with the icy highlight color. So just really kind of reminded me that like I mean, a lot of times a good eyeshadow works great as a highlight too. So it has a nice texture. It is a little bit, um, I don't know, I wouldn't say like super thick, but slightly thicker formula. Um, I would maybe like liken it to um, the BH Cosmetics highlighters, where really you just like want to kind of build up the color um, slowly because it has that kind of thicker texture. So. I don't know, you might have to tweak the formula a little bit, like your application technique with the formula, but it's really, really pretty. So that was one of my favorite things I got in my Ipsy bag. And onto lip favorites for the week. This was definitely my standout favorite. I wore this multiple times. It lived in my purse. It's just beautiful. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. I think these are called the Hot Lips, and this is in Super Cindy. I mean, I could just stare at the packaging it feels weighty. It feels like a really nice, fancy lipstick because it is. Um, it just feels like an experience with, when you use it. Um, this is like a beautiful, I would describe it as like a peachy terracotta nude color. So it's one of those shades that definitely will go with a lot of different things because it's not like a crazy bold color, um, but it also has color. So it's not like a you know, wash you out nude. So it's that like perfect balance. And I love the formula on these. These are one of those just ideal matte lipstick formulas in that it's comfortable on the lips, but it really sets down and doesn't move everywhere. Like it doesn't get all over your teeth. It doesn't move outside your lip lines, sticks around for a good amount of time. It's just a like low maintenance matte lipstick formula that's still comfortable. So that's like pretty much my favorite kind of lipstick to find. So I love this. I love the color. I love the packaging. I love the formula. It's just, it's a fun, beautiful, great lipstick. And I also really enjoyed this. I only wore this a couple times this week, but I was really impressed with it the couple times I wore it. So I kept the box so I can tell you the name. This is the Pixie by Petra Gel Tint and Silk Gloss. And this is in Pink Tint and Pretty Gloss. Let me see if it says something about it. It says long lasting lip tint gives a stained effect while the jojoba infused lip gloss keeps lips hydrated and nourished. So what I really liked about this 
is that this side, like it looks like it's gonna be really dramatic and dark and it kind of looks like that in a swatch, but you'll be able to see it's, it's kind of like a sheer wash of a stain. So I really liked that about it. Like it kind of like had to be built up a little bit, but it had that sort of, let me just get it swatched before I just go on a tangent and keep talking. So the gloss in this one is pretty much mostly clear, but just a little bit of like a peachy, slightly pink tint to it. It's really light. But you can see there, it's like a flush of color and mixed with a gloss on your lips, it gives that kind of like popsicle lip look, like you just had a popsicle. So it looks just very, I don't know, summery and fresh and youthful and just really nice. So I was really impressed with this. Like hearing about something like this would kind of not initially intrigue me because I'm usually not into like tinted stains or something like that. But this one I think is really good. I think they did this really well, like how they paired it together and how it's kind of a flush of color. It just works. So I really, really liked it. I thought this was really fun. I got this one and then two other colors from Pixie. So I'm excited to use the other ones a little bit more and let you know my thoughts on those too. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.